Hey, good Wednesday morning, everyone. Meteorologist Isaac Cleland here in the Storm Tracker 12 Weather Center. In the wake of yesterday's severe weather, we will quiet down a little bit today. We saw some very hot and humid conditions. The high in Flint of 93 was the warmest we've seen all summer and likely will end up being the hottest temperature of the entire summer, given that the last day of meteorological summer is this Saturday. And in Saginaw, the high of 94, that tied what occurred back on June 19th during our multi-day stretch of some hot and humid weather at that point in time. The observed heat index values yesterday, quite impressive. 107, the highest in Midland, 104 in Saginaw and Lapeer. Flint, Mount Pleasant, Alma, and Port Hope all at 103. Bad Axe at 102. Oscoda and Cairo maxed out at 101. Also, with the severe weather coming through, we did see some damaging wind gusts. Caseville, 67 mile per hour winds. Flint 63 and Auburn 62. Also Harbor Beach and Killarney Beach there topping 45 mile per hour wind gusts. The hour by hour forecast for today will show mostly cloudy skies stick around. There will be an opportunity here for a few stray showers and even a few rumbles of thunder will be possible mainly along the I-69 corridor. Then tonight mostly cloudy skies stick around. So Thursday morning starts mostly cloudy. By Thursday afternoon we should break into at least partial sunshine. Friday another round of showers and thunderstorms is headed our way. They are looking likely, and a few could be on the strong to severe side. There is a marginal risk for severe weather on Friday afternoon and evening. The humidity levels are still quite high this morning. They will be dropping off a little bit here, so certainly not as hot or humid as what it was yesterday. But on Friday, highs will be back into the 80s, and the dew points will be on the rise again back into the low 70s. So expect another very warm and humid day on Friday, and that's why we could see a few strong storms. Ultimately, as we head into and through the weekend, especially by Monday for Labor Day, cooler air will certainly funnel in. Our highs today will be variable, upper 60s north to low 80s further southward, northeasterly winds off the Saginaw Bay, bringing in some of the cooler air for us. Lows tonight, mid to upper 50s to near 60, underneath a mostly cloudy sky. Highs tomorrow range from the mid 70s to near 80, with mostly cloudy skies and a general east wind of 5 to 10. Decreasing clouds then for Thursday, highs near 80. Friday, another round of showers and storms. For the holiday weekend, Saturday and Monday look the best, mostly sunny skies. Sunday is not going to be a washout, but a few scattered showers could pass on through and maybe a stray rumble of thunder. Monday for Labor Day and for Tuesday, highs are back into the low 70s. And check it out, lows at night dipping back into the upper 40s.